This has been a long time coming. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the before and after, uh, the integrated reporting and how it's a game changer. Ayanda, uh, integrated reporting really, one would say it's a new way of corporate reporting. And what that really means, uh, you would have seen in the past that companies are really reporting mostly on their financial um, performance. And now we'll see companies reporting more integrated or telling a story that is a, a bit more integrated from their strategy into their governance as well as their financial performance. And they will be weaving all of that together and telling the story to the investor and uh, stakeholders. Who and how will integrated reporting benefit in the South African context? Um, well, it will benefit um, investors and you'll see in the research that we did perform basically what we are trying to do. Uh, is really trying to influence that space and encourage companies. And I think you alluded to actually the integrated reporting say framework was actually finalized um, in December 2013. And uh, that's where we'll see now companies will have a much more uniform or at least a clearer picture uh, of how to report. And again, as, um, as, as, as you've asked, it will influence um, your general investor uh, in the street and any other stakeholder. Words such as privatization have been thrown around because of the state of our state-owned enterprises. Uh, much debate they have been over the past few uh, years, I would say. Uh, so talk to us about the significance of your report in corporate governance when it comes to parastatals. Okay. When it comes to parastatals, I must actually also mention uh, particularly the Schedule 2 uh, companies uh, in terms of PFMA that we looked at. I mean, the asset base there is actually more than $1 trillion, uh, with a revenue uh, of more than $260 billion. So one gets to understand the picture of how significant the parastatals are. Um, particularly as well globally, we understand that they actually contribute about 40% of the GDP uh, globally. So parastatals are really really important in that context. So when it comes to integrated reporting, we want to encourage them as well to then um, disclose appropriately in a manner that um, any investor and any stakeholder mm -hmm. can easily understand what it is the value proposition for a company or how the company basically will be adding value to an investor and a stakeholder. Are you in a position to uh, perhaps give us some information on uh, some of the companies that you reported on and, and how they fared in the report? Yeah. Um, and I'll comment, I think, overall. Um, when we at Ngonki started uh, with integrated reporting specifically for state-owned companies, uh, we started in 2011 uh, doing the research uh, to see how they are disclosing, basically. And uh, now we started uh, with an average uh, percentage there of uh, overall scoring of 40.6%. It increased last year, overall scoring to 46%. Uh, uh, and this year, we've seen the overall scoring actually increasing to just about 50%, which is really great for them that there is improvement year on year. And it's encouraging to see that they're actually wanting to comply and wanting to tell the stories of the company and integrate the stories to everybody, the stakeholders, particularly well in their space. They're accountable to a number of stakeholders. To talk perhaps as briefly as possible in closing, to the viewer at home who's just thinking, I'm not very au fait with all the, the, the technical terms and the jargon. I don't really care much for the numbers. I just want a better South Africa. What does this mean for that individual who's just at home who wants a better life? Ayanda, really what it means is that you will now get to understand the real story about a company, starting from strategy, uh, the sustainability of a company, the financial performance of a company, and those stories will come through in a form of this integrated reporting and from start to finish, and we can see that basically the integration throughout the report, the story will be better understood by the man in the street. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. I really did enjoy this conversation. We'll have to leave it, uh, as I said, uh, for now. Uh, Tuto Masasa is an audit partner at Ngongi Incorporated. She's also a contributor to the report that we were speaking about now. And uh, that has been a long time coming. We'll have to leave it uh, as again. This is the third time I'm saying leaving it there. Maybe because deep down inside, I want to continue talking about it. But let's take a look at your...